Running may be for everyone, but not the Boston Jacket. That is not for everyone. As a serious runner, the Boston Jacket is a participation trophy that I pay for on top of the race registration fee. In theory, you don't even need to qualify for Boston or register for the race to buy the jacket. But what kind of disgusting person would do such a thing? I mean, are there really people who are so desperate for social validation? All right, my gram got another like. The BAA announced a 70,000 person virtual Boston Marathon in October. Well, there are a lot of problems with virtual races. There are GPS error issues, uh, it's not a measured course, there's no aid stations, there's no photographers to get that epic race photo, and it can be really challenging to find a net downhill course without traffic lights in your neighborhood. But primarily, because this is Boston, we have to ask, what does a virtual Boston mean for the jacket? Per the BAA, the virtual race will be open to the first 70,000 entrants, require no qualifying time, and participants can either run or walk. Walk? The BAA can't be serious. Virtual participants should refrain from wearing the jacket. Otherwise, the jacket just doesn't have meaning anymore. Kinda like having a bachelor's degree, or owning fine china, or being a client of Goldman Sachs after they went into consumer finance. When people see me wearing my Boston jacket, I want them to think, oh wow, he's fast, he's accomplished, he's practically a pro. Instead, they're going to think, meh, another hobby jogger who shelled out 150 bucks for a Boston jacket. We have to hold on to what's precious. So let's keep the Boston jacket for those who really deserve it.